As the Baldwin Bravettes begin another season of high school basketball, they'll be playing in honor of their hometown hero. Tasha Butts was not just one of the most important people at Baldwin, but in the entire basketball world. Connor Hines shares the story of a life well lived and a life taken far too soon. At James Lunsford Court in Milledgeville hangs the number 23, a reminder of the one who did it best at Baldwin and the one who will be watching this season from above. Tasha Butts died of breast cancer last month at the age of 41. Definitely gut punching. Seeing a superhero, so seeing a person that you that you viewed as a superhero that, that wanted everything that you ever witnessed um, while being alongside her, that that um it, it was just shocking. A consensus All-American, Georgia Gatorade Player of the Year, and still Baldwin's all-time leading scorer. Through the highest highs and lowest lows, Tasha left no doubt. It was just guaranteed buckets. You knew, you knew once the ball went to her, it was automatic two points, it was automatic and one, or it was automatic free throw. Baldwin girls ranked among the top five. I don't care what classification it is or was, they could play, and she was the director. She was my coach on the floor. Selfless with the basketball, and selfless with her time. People came to see Tasha the player, but also Tasha the person. Everybody was coming to see Tasha Butts. Everywhere that she went, it became the same thing, like, like an infectious virus. She, she infected everybody. She touched everybody's heart. I really will miss her, because even when I got the position as the head coach here, she reached out to me. We talked and we met and she gave me some pointers, gave me some ideas. She is a legend on her own, the hometown hero that we look up to. After her WNBA career, she returned to Tennessee as a coach and then four more stops before being named head coach of a Division I program at Georgetown. Sorry. This is special to me. It, it is it's, it's special. A dream come true for Tasha? and everyone else. I guess you say I was like a little kid on Christmas Day, you know, because I just woke up, I, I didn't know what to say or do, and that's what she worked for. That's what she always wanted to do. And while fate wouldn't have it that way, one thing is certain, the next Tasha at Baldwin is on the way. I always see a little Tasha over here. I can see a little Tasha over there. I can see a little Tasha everywhere I go because I can pull out the, the players that has that potential to be as good as they want. They don't have that grit that she has, that tenacity, and I'm trying to get it. We're trying to put it into them, but yes, I can see glimpses and I can see where we have some players that are able to do it. Tasha Butts was a great player, but what she leaves behind is much bigger than herself. A kind of attitude, mentality, and tradition you'll always find at Baldwin High. For more on Tasha Butts, including more footage of her and her Baldwin Braves teams from the 13WMAZ archives, you can look for this story on 13WMAZ.com.